Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Team Fortress TV. I am Frick Minick, joined by Bulldozer and Console. Going to be casting the ESCA Invite Upper Bracket Finals. It's going to be Freyotech versus Ascent. Uh, Bulldozer, do you want to give us a rundown of one of the rosters for these teams? Yeah, I'm just going to start out with the Froyotech roster. First of all, I hope everybody's having a good night. Froyotech are the titans of Invite. They've been around for a long time. Similarly, uh, Ascent has been around for a long time. The roster that Froyotech is running this season has been um, Banny and... I thought I had this open. Banny and Eric on scout. They have Yamsen Blaze. Yamsen playing the pocket role. Blaze playing the Roma role. Habib playing Demo Man. And they have... Uh, who did they have on Nursey on uh, Medic? Sorry, I was caught a little off guard. Nursey on Medic. They've been together for a while. They've all been playing this game for a long ass time, and they know how to pound. Who do you see on Ascent, Nick? So this current iteration of Ascent, uh, they had some roster shakeups about halfway through the season. They currently have Slemnish and Yite on Scout. Slemnish joined about halfway through the season when Zaylor stepped down from the team, and they put Bot Mode on Demo. Uh, bot mode is still on the demo role, and we see Laz and Jay on Romer and Pocket, respectively, for Ascent, with Skis running out the roster on Medic. Uh, for the most part, this team has had a fairly consistent roster, and a lot of these players have played with before. Uh, most, I would say, most notably on Swift, where you saw Yite, Laz, and Bot mode playing together, albeit on different roles. So it'll be interesting to see how the returning roster of Ascent with newcomers such as Jay and Ski is going to compare to the uh, the roster of Froyo, which, outside of Nursey, played together for about a full year together. Yeah, and they did play at the very end of the season. They played on Metalworks, I believe it was. Um, they played on Badlands they played on Badlands. Gully in the season. Yeah, that's right. The last week of the season was on Badlands. It was a it was kind of a close map. However, Froyo did find themselves putting Ascent on the back foot more often than not, and it ended up with them pulling out the win at the end of that and finishing out their 16-0 season. Yep, it was a 5-1 game, but the first half was particularly slow. Um, I think the first half, Ascent actually was kind of getting the better of Froyo in most regards, except Habib was kind of coming up huge. I want to say he went something like 28 for 13 or 28 for 10 or something in the first half. He went huge for his team, was keeping his team in it for the first half. And then the second half was a little more dominant from Freyu. It was fairly back and forth, but Ascent tended to be struggling with their last pushes from what I saw. And Freyu was able to capitalize. So, Yeah, part uh, of that was the uh, increased tap, cap time on Badlands last. They found themselves struggling a lot more against Freyu Tech's uh, engineer pyro defense, whereas Froyotech just found themselves jamming two scouts in with an uber more often than not, and occasionally sprinkling in a crit Krieg. Yeah. So we won't be seeing Badlands tonight, uh, either fortunate or unfortunately, or not, depending on if you're a fan of the map or not. We are going to be seeing Snakewater, Process, and Sunshine. Snakewater being Froyotech's pick, uh, Ascent's pick being Process, and Sunshine as the decider. Um, kind of going down the pick and bans, uh, Froyo banned Propaganda, Product, and Metalworks, which I don't think any of those are a surprise, maybe outside of Product, uh, with Bot Mode being kind of new to Demo and having never played it in ESCA to my knowledge, and never playing it at such a high level, I'm kind of curious why they wouldn't have picked Product, which is very, very Demo dependent. Um, on the counter-argument to that, though, I think that Yite and Slemnish is probably the strongest raw DM scout combo in Invite right now, so it would maybe compensate for that, but again, Bot Mode is pretty new to Demo in that regard. Uh, and then we're going to see it followed up by uh, Sense Bands being Granary, Badlands, and Gullywash. They actually banned both the maps they played in the regular season. Uh, they did play Furio on Gullywash, I believe it was week 4 or 5, yeah, week 4. Um, and it was a 5-3 game, but that was when they had Zaylor, and they ended up taking the first half, I believe it was 3-1. So it was I, the only half and the only segment of any tournament that Furio has lost with this current iteration of their roster. So, again, they had Zaylor for that. That was before they had bot mode on demo, and they didn't have Slemnish, so a little bit of a different roster. But that is the most rounds that any team got off of Froyo, being a 5-3. I believe every other result Froyo's had has been 5-2 or better. So, and then they played on Badlands the last week of the season. It was a 5-1 game. Again, it was pretty back and forth. I don't think the scoreline was quite as indicative of how close of a game it was, but uh, they did end up banning that out, and then they banned Granary before anything else so yeah it should be some interesting games i think that 
uh, you know, regardless of Froyo picking it, these are both quality teams, and I think that we're geared up to see a pretty good Sunshine map. You know, I think that the skills of these players uh, lend themselves well to the the way that this map plays out, particularly on the last point, which can be a little bit difficult to get into either via the sight lines from the right side of the last point or the shutter from the left. Yeah, for sure. Um, it's actually interesting enough. Uh, both Process and Sunshine are going to be kind of I wouldn't say enigmas to Furio, but. They only played Sunshine once in the regular season, uh, and they didn't play Process at all. And the one time they did play Sunshine, Furio played a 5v6 versus Alamau Terror Squad. So you kind of have to take that result with a grain of salt, because that is they did play a 5-4 match. Um, but again, it was a 5v6 in terms of Furio. So again, has to be taken with a large grain of salt. Um, and then, contrarily, Ascent played... I believe all three maps in the regular season. They only played Snake once against Alamau, um, and it was a 5-1, I believe, or 5-0. Yeah, it was a 5-0. And then Contrarily Furyu played Snake Water four times, and every single time it was a 5-1 or a 5-0. So it'll be interesting to see if Furyu continues the hot streak that they had. Uh, I know in previous iterations of the Furyu roster, this was kind of the map to upset them on, but those were days long gone by back in the days of when i was still very very new to the game so it'll be interesting to see i know for you as of recent has particularly been favorable in snake order i know after like the first rewind where banny kind of made his return to scout they've been pretty good at it um and i think the telling thing for for you right now is they don't have any incredibly strong snipers eric is pretty good at sniper but in comparison to somebody like slemnish i think it kind of pales in comparison so it'll be interesting to see if Ascent kind of opts to slow down the game and tries to play around like the Slumner Sniper factor, but you could also just see Froyo trying to negate it through raw aggression, which they've done phenomenally the past like five, six seasons. Yeah, and you know, I think that these are still two of the best teams, you know, in the world. And for people who are thinking that Froyo are going into this completely blind, you know, everybody knows how to play these maps. Froyo has been scrimming it, I'm sure. But match experience and scrim experience are very different things in a competitive setting. So if you're more familiar with the things that can happen or some ways that you can upset people in the tension of a match, you could see, uh, you know, you could see a sem coming a little more prepared for, for what can happen. Yeah, and that was one thing I was actually going to comment on is Snakewater Process and Sunshine are all pretty popular pug maps. And... Again, kind of going back to the, the bot mode being new to demo, um, if he's going to have experience on any of the maps, like these are the maps they're going to be on. I would say maybe this and Gully Wash, but they already played Furyu on Gully Wash and Furyu bested them in the regular season. Stronger demo, not to say the bot mode isn't a phenomenally good demo, but uh, Zaylor has been playing demo for a little bit longer and I think is a little more tenured to the role. So I think this map pool is actually probably one of the best ones that Ascent could have asked for. Um... Again, it's kind of hard to know because Furyu hasn't played Process in the regular season. Uh, you can only kind of go by scrim results, and it's hard to know with scrims because, you know, sometimes people play scrims with two, three ringers, or sometimes, like, you know, people show up to scrims and they're just not feeling it that day. Um, so scrim results are kind of have to be taken with a grain of salt. So, again, Furyu has not played Process at all, so it'll be interesting to see. It's also kind of been a sense go-to map from what it looks like um, in terms of uh, picks. So it'll be interesting to see uh, the process matchup. That's something I'm particularly curious about. And again, the Snake Order matchup, I think, is a again kind of being a pug map. It does favor demo play quite a bit. But again, I think if bot mode's gonna have experience playing demo on any map, it's probably gonna be Snake Order and process. Yeah, I agree. And uh, you know, there is a there's sort of a philosophy with these scenarios where if you're trying to make a difficult choice between things, you'd you can never go wrong with something that you're comfortable with. And you know, every one of these players has been playing maps like uh, Snake Water. They've been playing Process since they were, you know, in like UGC or whatever. So you know, you want to you want to stick to something that's easy. You want to stick to something that you know you can do well. And I'm I don't think that the the difference between these teams is so so big that they need to you know try and choose things like this. But I think that if you need to consider a playoff situation where this is do or die. Although this is upper bracket, it's not necessarily do or die, but you know, you kind of want to make those decisions with that in mind. So we're going to be going out to mid here. Who are you looking to follow, Nick? Uh, I think Habib's going to be the big factor on these mids. I know at Rewind 2, he had a particularly large impact on a lot of the mids, so I'm going to 
I'm gonna be watching for Habib to be having a large impact on the All right. Uh I'm gonna be looking to see what the Ascent soldiers do about this and if they're gonna try and do anything about Habib. Yeah, I was gonna say, the, the other player to watch I think is gonna be Laz. I think Laz has been going crazy all season, particularly on the mids. We saw it yesterday in particular. So we're going to see both of these mids. It doesn't look like anybody's eating any particular early damage. Jay actually goes down pretty weak, going to get arrowed up. Jay's going to try and initiate top left, but Ascent has zero positioning on the high ground. Furry has all of the high ground. Blaze is going to get traded out from Slemnish, but again, Furry has all the positioning on the points. Uh, Ascent's trying to counter push in, but bot is going to go down. They're going to trade out Habit, but Yay's going to go down. Laz is actually going to get up the frag onto Yom, but he should go down shortly to air. And it's just Skis left alive. Eric and Nurse are on the midpoint, but Skis should be able to get out with the 76% Uber. Yeah, that was a very slow mid. Uh, you, like you said, Ascent had a little bit of trouble taking high ground, and it meant that they were playing in that lower area until Laz was able to get a bomb, got some great damage onto upper, but then as the fight sort of uh, closed out, you saw Eric hitting a lot of great shots, and he was able to keep his team in it. Yep, so it looks like Ascent's going to try to recontest from their bats. Froyo doesn't have any of their spawns, and it looks like Eric and Nursey are going to get caught out on grass a little bit. Ascent's going to find the Force. Jay's going to go down for it. They're going to find the Force or Skis. Blaze is going to find that one and go to down for it. He's a slightly better Uber, but they're gonna find bot mode in the chaos of things. Fanny's getting that frag. They're gonna be repushing on the point with the lack of demo, and Skis is gonna go down. Habib bombs and finds that frag. Yite and Laz are gonna try and all in for Nursey, but they're not gonna find anything. Furry's gonna be trying to push last off these four pick. Yeah, things were actually looking pretty good for Ascent there, and then Blaze got this high bomb out of nowhere, able to force out Skis, and he was able to turn that fight in their favor as they didn't have that, uh, that resource that would have kept them in it. Yeah, but Furry was just gonna roll this one into last. Let me get a quick one up. Sense line, they get their spawns quite in time, and Furry was just gonna play the cap off their massive number advantage. Yep. Uh, you know, that that mid was pretty good. I, I wanna see in general if Ascent is able to sort of establish themselves a little bit better on this mid. You know, their soldiers had a little bit of trouble getting up to somewhere where they could start putting out spam, start putting out damage. And I think that whether or not they're able to do that comfortably this time is gonna set the tone for the mid. Yep, so Habib getting the better bot mode early in this mid. We're going to see a double bomb out of the Ascent Soldiers. Jay's going to get denied really early, but Laz is going to find the frag and the ban. He's going to get traded out by Eric. Again, Furry has all the positioning above the point. The Ascent's super far back. Jay's going to go with the rebomb. Blaze is going to find the frag and the bot mode. Jay's getting a ton of damage out on the Yom. So Yom's going to get aired up by Nurse. Yeah, he's going to find the frag onto Habib eventually, but Yom's going to trade it out with the shotgun. And it's going to be another mid for Furry, only losing Habib, but. Ascent is only going to have Slemnish and Jay alive. Skis went down, so Nurse is going to have a huge Uber advantage. Yeah, they had some good ideas there with that double soldier bomb, but you saw Jay actually getting denied really quickly, and it meant that he kind of had to hang out for a little bit. He wasn't able to, to put any pressure on anyone. And, yeah, and Slemnish is behind on mid. Oh, he gets destroyed. Habib, Banny, and Eric all going back for it. Just noticed that, but he went down before he was able to find anything. Yeah. And they actually had an opportunity at the end there, if they had kept Jay and if they had kept Yite together, if they had a lot of players low on Frodo Tech, they might have had an opportunity to clean that up. However, you know, they decided to back off, they decided to try and get what they could, but save who needed to be saved. Yep, so Ascent's gonna have to give up too, they have a haphazard defense, just gonna get some spam, they are gonna try and see if the Slumner Sniper can find anything, but uh, Furry's gonna be trying to push off this ad, but Skis almost has Zubri's on 85% building it up, they have a gun on the right side, but Furry's gotta go right now, Skis already at 95%, they're gonna find the gun early, Habib bombing in, but Skis is already in, in the spawn where he's 99%, Banny's on the point, getting a ton of cat time, but Skis is gonna get Zubri popping off, they're gonna find the frag and the Banny, but no one else has died, Blaze is gonna go down into chaos, and so is Habib. The sun's going to be able to successfully repel the push from Froyo. Yeah, uh, it was just a really well defended point by uh, Sun. You know, they played their outs, they let Froyo come in, they let him use up their Uber, and then they were able to re engage without too much of an issue. Yep, so we're going to see if Sun pushing in for bats. Yomps is in on the ski, is going to get a ton of damage, and ski is going down to 26 health. Yomps not going to find that frag, but the sun's kind of scattered off the back of that, but Banny's going to go down, and Eric's super, super weak. Eric's going to end up dying. Blaze is going to be jumping, and he's going to find the frag on the ski. Froyo with the all-in. Uh, Nursi and Habib are the only two alive on the side of Froyo. They're just going to be backing out of mid, and Ascent's going to be surging forward looking for the pick on the Nursi. Yeah, and it's going to come down to this pick on the Nursi, because if Skis had stayed alive there, that would have easily given them the momentum that they needed to try and push this through to the last, if not through the round itself. But, you know, Blaze got that roll with that great bomb. He was able to get Skis. You know, that's why he's been able to establish himself as one of the best roamers in this game. So we're going to see Furio pushing back in the mid with about a 75 advantage. Yoit's in his own kitchen, and Laz and Jay are both in up top trying to fight Yom. 
Jump's gonna find damage onto both of them. Blaze is gonna go down, and Banny went down to a trap early in this fight, so he's gonna be responding very shortly. Nursey's up on her Uber, and Ascent's still trying to prod this. Uh, and Mercy is going to end up getting forced at Laz, and Slamnish are going to be committed for it. Laz is going to get caught in Froyo, so they're going to go down shortly. Eric finding both of those frags onto the flank players from Ascent. Uh, Skis at about a 40% advantage, but they don't have it yet, and Froyo does have a two-player add, so they're going to be looking to try and push into two off that two-player add. Yeah, you know, that was that was a pretty simple fight. Froyo got Uber. They used Uber, and... You know, Ascent couldn't do a whole lot about it, but they're going to have Uber here if they're able to keep Blaze from getting in on this. And they're going to be able to at least slow down this push a little bit, if not outright defend it. Yeah, we saw B bomb in and find the pick onto bot mode, and Blaze was pressuring into last, wasn't able to quite define Ski. I got about 120 damage into him, but Skis was able to squeak his way out. He does have about a 30% advantage. Uh, it looks like nursey has been building pretty well, whereas he hasn't been. And they're going to be looking to try and push off of it. Slumish leading the push for this one. He's out on the... Blaze and Eric are in uh, their lower lobby. Looks like Eric's taking the 1v1. Going to last, going to die to bomb. Uh, drawing a lot of players back are Blaze and Eric, but the Uber on the point is going to find Banny and Yomps are trying to contest, trying to hope for a little bit of a delay for the back cap. Their attempts were fruitless. Nursey is about to come up on her Uber. She is about 95%. But again, it's just Nursey and Habib alive backing out in the mid while Sent is 6 up. Yeah, uh, I think that if Ascent wants to try and keep themselves in this, they need to make an aggressive play here because Froyotech's just going to be able to come back in with the Uber and push them back out, and they need to try and make that happen before they're able to start killing people. So we see Froyo pushing back in the mid with her Uber. They're going to find the Laz really early. Yomp's going to find that one with a shotgun, but Jay's going to come in with a collapse, going to find a bunch of damage into Hubby. Beeb's going to end up living out. Jay's going to go down. No solars on the side of Ascent. Both are fresh tests, so they're just going to leave one scout on mid, and Froyo's going to be trying to pressure into two. Yeah, and it's like I just said a second ago, they were able to get that Uber, they were able to come back in, and now they're just going to leapfrog a little bit. Double Bomb coming into this bridge, they're able to find a lot of damage onto the combo, force them out. However, Yite does get Blaze as he's on his way down. But you've got Banny and Habib lurking in the back, Habib does go down, and I think you're going to see Ascent coming oh, out with this fight. Eric's going to find Skis on the back line, he's also able to find Slemnish in lower. They baited uh, all of Ascent into lower, and they're cleaning up all the frags with the superior positioning. Uh, Habib and Blaze went down on the side of Froyo, but the damage is done. It's just the two soldiers up on the side of Ascent. Froyo's pressuring the last. Jay's going to go down. Laz is going to try and fight the world here. It's a 1v6. He's going to go down. Slumdish and Skis are going to spawn, but there's no way they can get to the point in time. It's going to be 2-0 for Froyo. Yeah, and, you know, it looked as though they might have been in a good position Ascent, uh, but then you saw Nursey re-engage with, uh, with Yomps there, and that just meant that they didn't really have any any of the damage output that they needed since they were forced into this doorway. Yep, for sure. So we're going to be going into our third mid here. Bomb went a little bit faster than Habib, it looks like. Uh, nobody taking any particularly notable early damage. Again, Froyo has the only player up top being Banny. Uh, looks like Ascent isn't really holding any top control. We're going to see the bomb in from Jay, but Yite's going to go down to Blaze really early. Laz's going to trade out that frag, and Banny's going to go down to a pipe from bot mode. It's looking pretty good. Skis and Jay are super, super weak. Skis was down to, I believe, 6 health there at one point in time. But he's able to get the pack and get healthy. And Froyo's going to have to back out of this mid, being down a soldier. Uh, looks like they're going to try and opt the hold two, and Ascent's going to try and roll through Saw to get into two here. Yeah, you saw Blaze come in with a really great early bomb. He was able to pick Guide off without too much issue. However, Ascent held strong, and then they were able to send in Laz to keep him pushed out in that lower area. And although things aren't looking as, uh, as optimistic for them right now, you know, I still think that they should be able to trade these Ubers, possibly hold mid. Yeah, Blaze and Eric going down pretty late. Uh, both of Ascent soldiers sacked into two. They were able to find Habib, but they weren't able to find anything else. But Ascent's getting the much better end of this exchange. So I'm just going to find the frag and the Nursey. Oh, Banny's trying to make a play into lower. Banny's going to find the frag on the skis, but he's going to go down. Uh, Bomb mode's going to claim the frag onto Yomps as well. So we have just the spawners on the side of Froyo, but Ascent is it's a 4v3 currently. Ascent is all the positioning. Blaze looking for some space in the lobby with the help of Habib, but he's not going to find anything. They're just going to retreat back to land. Nursey and Skis on the same spawn wave, it's going to be, end up being even Ubers, but again, Ascent has all the positioning on two, and it looks like Furry is going to be relegated to their last. Yeah, you saw a great uh, Uber trade in Ascent's favor. You know, you Froyo Tech all had to be looking at the same doorway if they wanted to pressure Ascent, and it meant that they knew where they'd be coming from, and they were able to back out properly and come in afterwards and be able to punish them for it. Yeah, and we're going to see the Slumnish Sniper on the side of Ascent, so... Uh, sent quick to put Slumnish on the sniper. Uh, I know from the cast yesterday, Slumnish was hitting some absolutely nasty headshot. So we'll see if he can keep up his uh, his spree of absolutely destroying players. 
Uh, Slumish, I think, is probably one of the best snipers in NA uh, as of right now. So it'll be interesting to see how Froyo opts to handle this if Eric tries to counter snipe him, who's currently on scout. Um, both teams about to be coming up on their Uber. It looks like Ascent's going to start trying to prod into lobby to give Slumish a little bit of space to peek into last. Uh, yeah, I agree with you on Slumish. The dude's kind of a monster. It's worth noting that Froyo did check with a spy. They know that they have a sniper and they're reacting accordingly. That's why you see uh, Yams holding this angle. And yeah, Vanny right it. on the other side has a dispenser where Nursey's just hiding out. You know, very little threat. It's, it's hard to get to that spot while they have a sentry yeah. over on the other side. Yeah, as sniper friendly as Snake Water last is, it's very, very hard to push into last when Nursey's holding in the position that she's holding in, especially with the dispenser there. And if you have somebody holding drop down close, it ends up being very, very difficult. We saw Yomps bomb in and find the frag on Slumish who's going to opt to spawn Sniper once again. Again, it is 2 0 in favor of Freyotex, so they. I guess would be sort of content with parking the bus, although I believe they found both rounds within less than two minutes uh, on each round respectively, so there's probably about 20 minutes left in the half after the back and forth, so I'm not sure they're going to be as content with sitting on last for 20 minutes, but if that's what they got to do, that's what they got to do. Yeah, uh, I think it's going to be really interesting what they decide to do here because just giving a sniper 185 is not really going to be enough as we, we see, see last bombing the lap. I yep, don't know so if he's, he's just get... getting some info or if he's just trying to find something, but, you know, he was able to find a little info. He was able to get a little bit of distraction for Slemnish, who was picked off by Yams. We're seeing some yeah. trades go down. Jay went down. Yams went down. I, it may be enough for Freud to, to push out. It seems like they're going to at least test the waters here as they push out Cheese. We're only going to see Yite really putting up a fight as bot mode is going to get pushed out as well. Yeah, and they're going to end up dropping Yite. Uh, Skis is going to get forced off on just bot mode. So it's going to be bot mode versus the world. Nursey's just dancing around bot mode. Still at full health. Bot mode's going to go down. And it looks like Furry's just going to chase out the Ascent player. Jay is down to just 2 HP. Going to get pistoled down by Banny. Yeah, we saw the bomb in from Laz. I think he's trying to distract the gun to give Slumnish some space to snipe in. Uh, Furry's going to be Ubering into mid here. Blaze is going to go down to Slumnish. But Ascent still has some respawn. Skis down to just 22 HP. We're looking for the frag. Uh, Eric's gonna get the bleed out onto Laz hitting with the melee. He's gonna end up bleeding out, but uh, Habib and Eric are gonna go down for it. Slumish and Co are pushing back in a bit, and there's actually a back cap from Yelp. Yeah, he's actually gonna end up capping it out. Yelp's gonna kill him right after the cap, but the damage is done. Furry's gonna be relegated back to other two. It is a 4v3, but Furry was about to get two spawner. That was a fantastic series of plays out of the sun both the back cap that was going on, and also the fact that Skis lived oh, there, Blaze might not be Skis. living here. Oh, uh, Blaze is going to find the final rocket onto Skis. Laz is going to skill stick him down to trade out the frag, but Blaze got what he wanted already. The fact that Slumnish was able to get him out of that lower area earlier was huge, even though it wasn't as much of an uber advantage. Having those heals available are pretty big, and then you just saw him in bot mode clean up Froyo Tech some. However, they got cleaned up here a second ago. And they're going to be finding themselves with the momentum pushing into second point. Yep, so Nurse has got about a 65 ad. We are going to see Yite in the forwards want a sniper. Ascent got all of their forwards, but again, Furu is at 90% currently. Nurse is about to be up on her Uber, and we're going to see how they're going to opt to push this. Uh, I don't know if they know about Yite in the forwards spawn just yet. Uh, it looks like they're opting to try and go saw side. Yeah, and I think that... You know this this ruse could be up pretty quickly if they if they decide to peek that yeah they know about him yeah. he may Blaze just be swapping him. off or maybe he's gonna go for some uh, ballsy shots but the yeah fact he's, he's backing out of this also, saw it looks room. like he yeah he's already back spawned and it looks like Froyo's just opting to really slow push this but Skis is almost up on their Uber Skis at 99% gonna find their Uber Yite's gonna go down from pressuring it looks like and Jay's pretty weak as well but nobody's particularly hurt on the side of Froyo Froyo just did an excellent job of just slow pushing that not having to use their Uber just pressuring back and recycling their heals yeah so if they decide to push before Yite comes up uh, that's an option it looks like they're gonna be going in with it yep. now you saw a Blaze fast gonna bomb, bomb it. come out out of Blaze uh, oh, isn't able to find well. a whole lot it looks like Freya is going for a uh, three-man here. Yams, Blaze, and Eric committing. So Blaze speed shot in, make the room for the extra two men of Yams and Eric. They're going to get the force out on the ski. And Habib's going to two-pipe down. Yite is going to go down. Bot mode's committed as well. Bot mode's going to hit a couple nice pipes onto Habib before going down himself. The demo man trade. But the spawns are going to come in for Froyo, and they still have a 75 Uber set. If in it. Yeah, however, that that uh, pick on Habib is going to be kind of big. It might stave them off for just a second, or it won't, as the fragging classes are coming straight in along with Nursi. Uh, you're seeing players hide out on the left side by the sentry, but they're going to need to get themselves on the point if they want to try and hold this. 
as yep. Froyo begins to collapse onto the last point. As bot mode spawns, and he's putting out a lot of important damage yeah. onto that point area. However, you see the scouts are going to reign supreme here in the end as Froyo takes the third round. Yep, so it's going to be a relatively quick 3 0 half for Froyo Tech. Um, Ascent had some good back and forth for the most part, but they weren't really able to find their footing. Um, they were able to get Froyo on their last a couple times, but they just ended up being even Ubers, and then Froyo was able to pull out the stops. Um, it looked like they tried to do a pretty interesting two-man where they pogoed Laz in left side from their perspective to distract the gun um, and to try and get Nursi to move out of her positioning a little bit and then peak Slemish from the drop down at the same time. But... As that happened, uh, Banny actually had a really odd gun positioning on the left side that watched the shutter and the left side, um, while Yomps also happened to be cycling to the left side um, and was able to bomb Slemnish, and then Laz wasn't able to find anything with his bomb in. Uh, he was able to get denied by, I believe it was Eric, and they, neither of them really found anything, and then Habib was able to find Jay, so they ended up losing three players, and then Furry was just able to coast-to-coast -coast it off the back of some intelligent play. Yeah, and I think a, a big part of this is just that Froyo has that ultimate confidence. Nothing really surprises them. You know, at no point has it really looked like they've been caught off guard, uh, with the exception of probably when Habib got picked off right off at the end there. But they seem to be ready for for everything. They they react calmly. They don't, you know, let themselves get get too worried about it, and then they just play their game. Yeah, so taking a peek at the stats, um, uh, I think the big standout to me right now is Eric is 22 for 6 right now. Uh, nobody else on Froyo is having a particularly amazing game. Banny is 11 for 10. Yomps is actually 15 for 7, so that's pretty standout as well. Um, Habib 7 for 7, and Blaze is 6 for 13. Uh, on the side of Ascent, we see Slumnish going 18 for 10. Yite 7 for 12. Laz 9 for 11. Uh, and then it looks like Jay is struggling quite a bit at a 2 and 11. We're going to see the halves ready up. What does Ascent need to be doing in the second half here to try and tie it up with uh, Froyotech, Bill? Uh, I think they need to pretend like they're Froyotech. They, they're, not, they're not playing with a comparable amount of confidence to what Froyotech is, and I think they're trying to maybe wait for Froyotech to make their own mistakes, but they don't really do that. For sure. So we're going to see the fourth mid-fight here. Uh, both demos arriving at about the same time. It looks like uh, Banny's opting to play up top. Uh, all of us then trying to play up top. We're going to see a double bomb. Laz and Jay both coming in. They're going to find the pick onto Habib. Both are going to make it out, it looks like. Uh, terrible health on the side of Ascent, but they're finding the picks. Yomps is going to go down. Habib's going to go down. Oh, but Furry was able to push back in. They're going to find the frags. It's only the soldiers on the side of Ascent. Well, both the scouts and the medic are alive for Furry. It's just Banny and Nursi versus Laz. Laz down to 2 HP. Oh, it looks like Laz just taunts. This is all of his rockets at the end there. Just taunts with the equalizer out. Uh, Nursi's gonna get the saw for that one, even though she basically already had full uber out. So Furry's gonna win out that mid. Skis is already, uh, spawned, but Nursi lived in mid and has a full uber out. You know, I did like what they decided to do there. You saw some aggressive actions out of their soldiers. You saw their scouts cleaning up the damage from Ascent. And, you know, I hope that some of the future mids are gonna look more like that, because regardless of the fact that they lost, that kind of thing is more like what they need to do. Yep, and we're going to see Blaze bomb in, going to get a ton of damage into bot mode. Bane's going to follow up on the frag. Uh, Blaze is going to die for it, but uh, the set is spending a lot of time here. He's already at 60%. We're going to see the Yite uh, Engineer. It looks like uh, Habib and Ko are going to be Ubering in from lower. They're going to be uh, ending their Uber on the top left here. Yomps is going to find the frag on the J, and Laz is going to go down as well. Bot mode's about to find his spawn in a couple seconds. He's at 75%. Furry has yet to deal with the gun. It's going to go down from some spam from Yomps, but... Ascent's going to be looking to try and make a collapse. Habib is going to go down, but we're going to see a scout on the point for the side of Froyo. They're going to be collapsing it. Froyo's finding the Frex, and they're going to end up capping it out. It's going to be 4-0 for Froyo. Yep. Speaking of aggressive bombs, plays picked off bot mode real early, and then that just put Ascent on the back foot the entire time. They weren't able to establish any initiative or any aggression out of themselves because they didn't have that extremely vital spam coming from the demo man onto the last point. It meant that they had to dedicate themselves to it, and they weren't able to worry so much about the people shooting at them. Yep, so we're going to see our fifth and potentially final mid here. We're going to see a high bomb from Blaze. going to be committing in. He's going to land on bot mode. Bot mode's going to go down instantly. He's going to pick the uh, Banny before he goes down, and Blaze is going to die for it. So Froyo trading out two for bot mode. Yomps is going to go down. Looks like Ascent is getting the better of Froyo on this mid. Habib, Eric, and Nursi are going to make it out, but the damage is done. It looks like Ascent's going to be trying to chase Froyo into two, leaving just Yite on the mid to cap. 
Uh, Sense trying to pressure from Saw. They're a little bit hesitant here, but now they're starting to push in, feeding their confidence. Habib is on two alone, actually. He's the only one in. Uh, the spawners from Blaze are going to come in, but Habib, down to 10 health, up in the air, is going to crater to his death. Uh, Laz is going to go down to Eric, but yeah, it looks like we have a pod. We, we did see Skis go down there. He's going to have a long 20 second uh, respawn as Froyo is just going to be able to roll back in there. I didn't actually see how Skis went down, but that was pretty big. They had everything in the world going in there. They had uh, killed Habib, which is going to be huge for defending this point, but they weren't just able to get themselves out of that sawmill area and into the point proper. My internet died mid push. Huh. Well, then I guess I will take over if you need me to. Froyo gearing up to push into second through the lower area, choosing not to take the saw that they've been using a lot. Finding a bomb from Blaze onto that bats area, which is going to force Ascent out back into their last point while Froyo freely takes second. Yep, so we're going to see Nursey with about a 50% uber at Ornus, the Yite Engineer, and the Slum Sniper on the side of Ascent. Skis is about 60% right now. Uh, Froyo's Uber is dwindling. Looks like they're gonna be trying to scout into last. They see the gun from Yup. You know, to regroup, get buffed up, and get healthy before pushing into last. Yeah, and I'm surprised that they're being so so slow about this. Uh, you know, I would assume that they know how big of a of an ad they have, but they're just cleaning up the right side before they decide to take their time and move over to the left side. But if this fight keeps continuing, then there's a real threat that Skis is going to get his own Uber and be able to hold this, potentially. But he's going to need his players to stay alive for that. As Skis is going to get the Uber, is he going to need to pop it? No, they're going to be able to push back out with this Uber. Yeah, Froyo pushed in there. They were able to find the gun super, super early, but they weren't able to find much else. Uh, Banny spent a lot of time chasing Laz around, I think was a lot of the issue. I think Laz, if he had died a little bit sooner, may have been the uh, the key to that. But it looks like they're going to bomb Yomsen, and oh, all of Froyo is committing, and all the projectile classes are bombing in. Uh, Yomsen is going to go down, and Blaze should follow shortly, who is behind, but Habib's able to get out. Uh, they got the force out from Skis. Dursi with about a 50% advantage. Blaze is just on the sense last. He's actually living for so, so long. Doesn't look like anybody's really chasing. He's able to actually get out. It looks like he's able to get out back to his team and get healthy from Nursi. And Laz is going to go down trying to chase him. Yeah, that was some great play out of the Froyo tech. They just said, anybody with a bomb, go after Skis. Oh, but Blaze, Blaze just jumped into two. He landed on top of Bull Scouts. I thought he was going to die instantly there. He's able to find Bull Scouts. Uh, I don't see who got Nursi. Actually, Nursi went down in the back lines for Froyo, but... Uh, three down on the side of Ascent. Looks like Froyo is just trying to pressure into last. Banny and Habib are already in. Looking for the frag on the bot mode. Bot mode's gonna go down. It's just Skis versus the world. He's gonna try and come out to spawn on Pyro, but he's not gonna be able to get out in time. It's gonna be 5 0 for Froyo. Can we, uh, get Banny on the line? I need to tell these guys to slow down. You're not letting me finish my analysis. But yeah. that's gonna be the first map. Goes to Froyo, 5 0. Yep, so Froyo continues their dominance on Snake Water from the season. Again, continuing their trend of 5-0s and 5-1s of every opponent they face on this map. <laughs> they they really are the uh, the titans of Invite. There's not a whole lot that you can do about them. But, you know, you can only do your best. So again, there's no particularly standout stats for the second half. I think the big thing for me... Um, at least just looking at the stats, again, nothing particularly stand out. Blaze had 386 DPM for that second half and ended up going 9 for 4. I think that's about the only thing that really stands out for me. Um, and Nursey only had one death in both halves, only dying twice for the entire map. It was pretty quick and Froyo was pretty dominant, but I think in general, just Froyo is kind of all inning for the other team's medic, and then Nursey's does a better job of staying alive with a scout and a projectile class across the board. Yeah, I agree. That seems about right. There's a lot of situations where uh, you'll see, for example, Nursey hanging out with, with Habib and a scout, whereas it felt like Ascent, you know, you would see uh, Skis getting out of these fights, but it wouldn't always be with the with the people needed, with the classes needed, or the tools needed to be able to, you know, keep defending themselves or try and turn it into a push or salvage it in some way. For sure. Um I don't, it's hard to dissect what went wrong because there's a lot of things that were going very, very right for Freyu. And I feel like Ascent was kind of on like the tipping point where if they had just done a couple little things a little bit better, it would have been very, very close. But it's hard to say um, with such a dominant showing from Freyu attack. I mean, they've been dominant in the NA TF2 scene for a long time now.
Yeah, um, like 13 seasons? What is it? Too many to count. Yeah. Uh, but I did like what we were seeing out of Ascent at the end when they were when they were showing that aggression. Even if it didn't work out, you saw it, you know, bearing some fruit for them. You would find them winning a few extra fights that they maybe hadn't been able to to find before, such as that last mid. Yeah, I think Ascent in general, when the game kind of slowed down, like when they had advantages and they played it a little slower, I think they did good. Like I think tempering their aggression a bit more is kind of what their key was because they were able to get Froyo on their last a couple times. Um, it's just once they got Furu to last, things kind of just fell apart from there. But I think in general, when they had advantages and they kind of took it slow and kind of slowed down and played their game a little bit more, I think is where they found the most success. And I think that's going to be kind of the key moving into Process, which is our second map, which is their pick. Um, and I think they really got to just try and play around their scout DM. Like I said in the pregame, I think as of right now, Slumnish Knight is probably the strongest DM scout combo in Invite. So I think they really just got to try and temper their aggression and play together as a team uh, and really try and play off their strong scout DM. Yep, I'll agree with you there. Uh, however, we are waiting for the STV for the second map right now. Do you uh, want? Do you have anything to say, Nick? I know you're very prepared for this. Um, I mean, I think the only thing that I have to say is that Furu hasn't played this map in a technical match this season i don't know if they've been banning it or not but it is the one map that they have lost in the past i think four seasons because until yomps left last season and they lost to froyo black uh process was the map that they lost on but outside of that map they hadn't lost in three seasons and process is the only map to do so so i think if ascent has a chance of doing it i think it's this map um and Slumnish and Laz were part of the core on Froyo Black. They were the flank players that ended up pulling out that W. So it'll be interesting to see. I think Process is the map to do it on. But as I said earlier, I think there's a lot of little things that are going wrong for Ascent. Um, and it's hard to tell like from just like a, a general spectator's point of view. Yeah, well, Process has a lot of sight lines, there's a lot of angles, and there's a lot of walls. So you're going to see some great soldier play coming up, and I think that is probably, as opposed to the scout play in this past map, what's going to be the key to Process. For sure. Uh, like I said, I think... I don't know. I, I think the mids were kind of going wrong for Ascent 2. I think, especially on the back of a lot of the mids, um, that they lost, they weren't really able to hold last. I think Froyo was doing a really, really good job of like scouting into last, which I know, especially on Snakewater, is a big deal, but it's a little harder to do on Process just because they're kind of two separate halves to the last. So it'll be interesting to see if Froyo has the same success with their last pushes um, that they did on Snakewater, because I think they only messed up one, maybe two. I think they had one in each half that they messed up. But I think Process is kind of a different game. I think Process last is more geared up towards like just pushing him taking one side with your uber resetting and then pushing across as a team while looking for point uh presence and i think Freud did a really really good job of getting point presence it'll be interesting to see if ascend's able to make the adjustments because i think process class and snake class play very similarly but not exactly the same um i think for the most part a lot of the issues that they were having are gonna transfer almost directly over uh, I think that the time between maps is going to be pretty crucial for Ascent if they want any chance of taking it to Sunshine. Yeah, that's well put. I think that there's uh, a, just a couple of main differences that process features over Snakewater. Um, a big one is that spammability of the last point is a lot better on process. You don't know that walls on other side, and you've got much better view of the last point from your spawn doors. And second of all, you've got that upper area, which is pretty vital for holding last if you want to try and kite an Uber away, or if you want an easy place to have your medics sit out while the fight unfolds. And I think that how Ascent plays that, as opposed to how they played uh, this past Snakewater map, just with throwing down an NG and uh, you know waiting for Froyo to push them with their Uber, that's going to be what's most important for, for trying to find success in this map. Yeah, and I think the other thing too is I think this mid is a little more... Um scout centric it's a little less like playing around their soldier bombs and i think the soldiers on the side of ascent were kind of struggling to find their footing uh they had a couple really good mids where they were able to coordinate really good soldier bombs but i think on the mids where they didn't bomb and they tried to play a little more passive 
the Ascent soldiers tended to struggle a little bit more, whereas the Froyo soldiers were able to get a lot more value out of just holding their positioning. And I think that's going to be pretty crucial on process, because I feel like on process, if you're not courting a double soldier bomb, being able to play passive and play your positioning is really, really crucial. And it'll be interesting to see if Ascent soldiers are able to find more success doing that on this mid. Um, again, process is like the hallmark pug map, and I know Laz is really, really good on this map. I think he was one of the key factors in Froyo Black beating Froyo last season. So I'm interested to see how Laz uh, steps it up for this second map. Yeah, I, I'm interested too. We do have STV. We're going to see uh, how close we are to getting this map started. I know that everybody is super excited to see this fantastic Team Fortress 2 matchup. Yeah, I'm pretty excited as well. I mean, like yeah, the last map was 5-0, but I mean, formalities aside, I think it was one of the more interesting maps that like Furio has played. Um, and I don't know. It's not to say that Ascent played poorly, but like I think they could have. Like I said, there was a lot of little things that were going wrong. Um, that I think if they had fixed, it would have been a lot closer, like maybe a 5-2 or a 5-3 game. And I'm hoping that since this is a sense map pick, that they'll kind of clean those things up and they'll have a, a lot more back and forth with Furio. Oh, I agree. Um, I want to see if they have anything in particular planned. You know, they picked this map. Froyo hasn't played it much. Is there, do they have a very specific game plan? Or, you know, are they just kind of saying, hey, we want to go process? We're going to see Blaze doing a fast bomb on his own crate, looking for a lot of early spam. They're going to spam down skis and bot mode pretty early. And we're going to see Laz going to go down really, really early. You're going to trade out Blaze. And uh, we're going to see Jay going to go down. Benny eating a ton of damage, going to get arrowed up. Yomp's eating a bunch of damage, but he's going to find the frag onto Yomp. Slemnish and Ski's the only two left alive. I'm sorry, Yite and Ski's. They're going to be trying to like, leave through their lobby. Both are pretty healthy, but Freyo is on the prowl. They are looking for the chase. He's eating a ton of damage down to 9 HP. Benny's going to find the frag late into that in the lobby area. Yeah. All right, so we are on audio only. Glad to bring you guys this fantastic audio only cast currently we have nursey we have yomps and we have habib holding in the three and four door of process last waiting for their opportunity to push in having taken down skis skis is just now spawning with yite as froyo is pushing into last on the right side we have vanny clearing stickies we have habib clearing doors and they're getting some quick point and the point is taken yeah, so, so we saw Freyu with a, a good uber out of four. They really get a lot of point presence. They were able to pressure bot mode back right as Banny was able to clear the stickies on the point. Bot mode wasn't able to relay the stickies, and both the soldiers were tied up elsewhere. It's going to be a quick 1-0 for Freyu attack here. If you let me assess last mid real, real quick to transition into this mid, you saw Ascent hang out by this rock. They were never able to push forward, and that's why Freyu attack was able to push into them and do that damage, but they're going to need to do the opposite of that if they want to find success on this mid, which starts out good with Danny going down immediately to bot mode. Blaze is going to go down as well, but they need to push forward, which they're going to do. They're able to force Freyu attack out through the choke point, and they're able to take this mid. Yeah, they were able to bait in Freyu's early aggression and punish Banny and Blaze pretty early. Looks like Ascent is not content with just the middle. They're going to be trying to bomb into two J and Laz jumping around. Habib's going to find the drop kill on the slime mission. It looks like Ascent is just out there. After losing slime mission, they're backing up. They're content to just have mid. Uh, Habib's going to be pressuring from the chokes and Yomps, Eric, and yeah, Nursi and co are going to be pressuring from the sewer area. Uh, the two soldiers from Ascent are going to bomb it and shut it down, but Freyo is edging at the choke. They are eager to get in here. Uh, Slemnish is going to get their spawn. It looks like Furu is going to back up here. Habib is just so aggressive in this choke, though. Yeah, you're going to see things slow down a little bit as we have Ubers even. Uh, we may see a Laz bomb here in a second. You may see players pushing IT, looking for something. Speaking of pushing IT, you've got all of Froyo's combo coming in through IT. Uh, it's a good opportunity for them to try and force out a bad Uber. Uh, but Nursey does not take the bait. Bandy does not take the bait, and they decide to just back out a little bit. Yeah, Laz actually bombed in, looking for the frag into Nursey while they were in IT. Uh, and he's going to go behind, but Bandy's going to hunt him down and find him on Laz. Laz is going to go down. Uh, I'll be interested to see if they continue to sack Laz or if they make it a two-man with uh, Laz and maybe Slemnish or Yite and then opt to put one of them on Sniper um, or if they opt to run Slemnish back. They're actually going to find the pick on the Yite and IT. Freya pressuring really, really hard. Yomps is going to go down for it. Blaze is pressuring as well down to 68 HP. Going to jump back to healed and get healed up. Laz is back into the fight now, but again, it is a 5v5, so 
It's actually really, really interesting. Froyo is playing so, so aggressive into the flanks here. Um, nursi has been playing in sewer and IT for the most part, just giving the uh, flank from Froyo the support of heal. Looking for uh, really aggressive picks. Yeah, I like the flank play coming out of Froyo, but the downside is that both of these flanks, both sewer and IT, have very tight doors, and it can be very difficult to push four people through them. So I, I applaud Fro Froyo's uh, valor in this, but I think they're going to need to go in with a little bit more of a set plan uh, as opposed to just feeling it out because they're going to lose the guy every time. Yep, and it looks like Slumnish is actually running back to spawn on his own side, so they're going to be switching Slumnish off to Sniper, it looks like. Yep, he is going to opt to spawn on the Sniper. Uh, sent pressuring from the token, I get a bunch of damage in onto Yomps, who's just going to jump back to Nurse and get healed up. So we're going to see the Slumnish Sniper arriving on mid again. Nothing particularly interesting to happening, both teams just prodding at the choke. Uh, we're going to see the Laz bomb and going to get in on a Nursi. Going to get one rocket off Nursi down to 65 HP. And Habib's going to find the frag on 2J. Blaze is going to go down on the side of Furio. But with no soldiers on the side of Ascent, I think Furio is going to opt to try and push this. And this will yep. be an important opportunity for Slemnish because as I said, one sniper can shut down this entire point. So if he's able to hit his shots, that could turn the entire tide of this round. And Banny and Blade or and Yomps were able to get into mid. Both are gonna go down. They're gonna find the forest. Yomps are gonna find their spawn. Habib was actually in as well. He's gonna able to jump out, and they're gonna get the force out of skis. Jay's gonna bomb in. Gonna get the force on Furio. Nurse is gonna be popping that one off, and it looks like Eric and Habib are chasing it. Yite's gonna go down. Jay's gonna go. In. Oh, and a oh. huge air shot from Blaze on the ski. <laughs> Oh man, and Blaze is gonna get out on that one. Botman's gonna go down to Eric. Slam just gonna find the full charge body shot onto Blaze, but the damage is done. Blaze is getting a huge air shot on the ski. Yeah, uh, if I'm gonna be frank, I don't know if Froyo should have won that. Uh, Ascent had six players up. They had uh, spawn advantages on Froyo. Froyo got the late pop, and they just said, "All right, well, let's just go kill him." Then, and you know, they did. They were able to get through the choke. Slamnish didn't hit the shots that he needed to, I think. And it meant that their sniper pick was just a little bit moot. Yeah, so I'm just being a little bit quiet on Sniper. I was singing his praises in the pregame, and unfortunately, he was not able to find anything other than the body shot late on the blaze, but the damage was done at that point. So, Nurse is going to have about 30% advantage. Freyu is holding mid while Ascent is holding two. So, I'm just still up on Sniper, kind of be sniping from the rollout area. Uh, we're probably going to see Furio pushing IT, we're going to see exactly that, so it looks like Furio is going to be trying to go lower IT. Uh, they're going to just pop through, they're going to bomb uh, Yomps in, and they're not going to find anything on the side of Ascent. Actually, Jay is going to go down, and it looks like they're going to be looking for the Laz pick and Lob. Laz is going to make it out to Lab. Um and it looks like Yite is going to be here to meet. He's going to find the frag on the Banny. Bomb was going to go down to Blade out uh, on the flank, but they're going to trade that one out for some self-damage. Uh, Freya's gonna get two, but Skis is up on their Uber and they're gonna be pushing out. Slumnish in from the rollout area, the rest of Ascent is back in. It looks like Eric is in the lobby area. Yeah, Eric is going to last. Uh, he does have the contest with the spawner of Jay. Uh, Jay's gonna win that one with the help of a little bit of Slum. Uh, Laz is gonna find the skill stick on the Nursey, however. Uh, Nursey is gonna go down and Skis didn't have to pop his Uber through all of that, so... Skis is gonna have full Uber and while Nursey's still on a respawn time. Froyo's contesting in this choke, they're gonna find, Blaze is gonna find Slumnish, Banny's gonna find Lat, the Ice gonna trade out Banny and Blaze for that, avenging his comrades, but again, trading two for two, Ski still has full Uber at here. You know, it's interesting, having a sniper on that second point meant that they didn't have the eyes that they needed on IT, and it meant that Froyo were able to push through pretty comfortably, and they were able to take that second point. Granted, Descent was kind of ready for that, they weren't trying super hard to hold it, but if they had a scout, they may have been a little more prepared for what was to come. For sure. We're going to see Yomps uh, sacked in on mid. We're going to see the Banny sniper, actually. Banny is watching the IT area. Uh, looks like, yep, he's going to find the full charge body shot onto Yike. The rest of uh, Ascent is going to be pushing in from Waikato. They're just going to pop. They're going to bop, bop, bop mode in. Going to find a little bit of damage on the Habib, who's going to get healed up. Botma is going to go down to Yomps in the upper IT area. Laz is going to get the better of Blaze. I believe it's a 1v1 deep in IT. Um... And Laz is going to retreat back into mid, but off the bot mode, Pitta Kulik's going to be trying to pressure into mid. Bane's going to get the full charge body shot on the Slem. Yomp's going to find the frag onto Laz with the shotgun. Yomp's bombing in. He's hungry for more, getting a ton of damage into Jay. Um, but he's not going to find that frag. Jay going to get aired up by Skis. Froyo has not popped their Uber yet, Nurse. He's still sitting at about 70% advantage. They're going to be capping up on this mid, but with the Bandy Sniper, they're going to be slowed down because Eric has to cap. Yeah, uh... Kind of the opposite of what we saw from Slamnish. Banny is hitting his shots. Uh, he's not going for the headshots. He's just going for comfortable body shots because 150 damage is still a lot. 
Uh, he was able to get the pick out onto Yite early on when they pushed in, and then Ascent also lost their demo man, and at that point, you can't push anymore, so they had to back oh, off. And Banny's as gonna he get also buffed in the left spot. spot. He's gonna get Ski! Ski's gonna go down as well. Banny sitting in the one area, you're gonna find both those friends. Oh, he's gonna get Laz as well. Banny with the 3k pushing into Laz. Bruce gonna take a 2 0 lead off the back of the Banny 3k. Banny dropping a face in the chat. <laughs> and that was our second round. That was still a pretty good round. Yeah, there was a lot of good back and forth, like I said. This is a sense map pick. We are seeing a little more life out of them uh, on this map, which is really good to see. But again, they are, we are seeing Furio edge them out with just a few simple mistakes here and there. We're going to see uh, Blaze going to bomb in super early, going to find Slunish and bomb mode super early in the mid. Yike going to avenge his fallen comrades, but the damage is done. Yomps is going to find Jay, who's lingering around on mid. But we're going to see Furio winning out the mid. It's just Laz and Yite on the side of Ascent. Uh, Skis and Yite are going to be sitting in one. Skis survived the mid off the back of that early blaze bomb, finding uh, the frags, but they're going to be in the last yomps, getting a ton of damage into Skis, who's going to find his way into spawn. Uh, it's going to go down to Yite, but Faru should be content with the two cap here. They've already made their sacks in the last. Habib's going to find the counter pick onto Laz, who's looking to counter sack there. And it looks like things are going to settle down a little. We're going to see yomps coming up on the respawner. He's just going to opt to spawn on his usual role of soldier. Uh, well, Laz is still on the respawn timer. Yeah, you're seeing Froyo on these mids. They're willing to push to the health pack. They're willing to push across to the opposing sewer. While Ascent is perfectly content to just hang out by this big rock. And that makes Blaze's job very, very easy. He doesn't need to think about where they're going because they're always going to be in the same place. And well, I we think saw that the they Blaze might want to... And we're going to see Yomps and Jay trading out in the rollout area. Going to do the soldier special where they both kill each other. Uh, we're going to see the Eric Sniper on the side of Froyo tech. So... Uh, Blaze holding the spawn there open for Eric. Uh, we're gonna see, we have Yite on the Engineer, and Slamnish is still on his usual role of Scout, but it'll be interesting to see if Slamnish will try and counter snipe his former teammate of Eric. Yeah, and I'm, you know, I'm down to see some, some sniper duels. This is a point well suited for it. Uh, however, I, I think we're just gonna see things so, sort of slow down a little bit as these two teams have their uber. I would like to see some sneaky stuff coming in from Blaze on this right side. As he's coming in, uh, isn't able to get a force out of skis. Uh, that sentry gun is in, in a 900 IQ spot. Easily deny any bombers. Oh, here we can I find the pick on the Laz peeking in from the five. Laz is gonna end up trading it out uh, between those two rockets. But that was a really impressive shot from Eric. He was able to hit find the pick on the Laz despite getting the aim punch from eating the damage. And Habib's gonna find uh, a frag on the Yite and the sentry gun as well. Frey was in on the point. They're gonna be taking exchange on the bot mode. Slumish is gonna find the pick on Habib in the middle of that. Really good job from Slumish to find the pick in the middle of that Uber. But off the back of the better Uber, Banny's gonna get in and gonna get the kill onto Slumish. Uh, two down on the side of Ascent, only one. One down on the side of Furyu. Bot mode is still up, so they do have the demo man, but bot mode's gonna go down to Yomps. Laz's gonna pick on the Blaze and gonna clean up the frag on Yomps. Bane is gonna trade out Blaze for that. It's gonna be an all-out duel on the point. Ski's going for Saws. Ski's Eric gonna melee down Yike. It's gonna be an all-out melee fight on the point. Nurse is gonna claim the frag onto Ski's, but it's gonna be a 3 0 half for Furyu Tech. It's a shame because Laz did about roughly a billion damage on that last point. Uh, you know, if you'd just been able to hold on a little longer. Ascent had the spawns, and they, they could have very well taken it. For sure. So we do see another 3 half out of Furio Tech. It's been super, super dominant from this in this series so far. Um, I'm trying to think of what I'd like to see out of Ascent for them to change up. And I do think that when they've had advantages, their tempered aggression was working for them. But again, Furio just keeps seeming to pull it out. As soon as they have any sort of advantage, Furio just seems to go the extra mile with it. Um, and it's hard to say where Ascent really isn't getting the same coverage, so to speak. Um, like, I know Ascent's getting a couple points here and there with the Ubers, but it just seems like they're, Froyo's able to get a player in behind and just buy, like, an immense amount of time for Nursi to get Ubers, or, you know, somebody on Froyo just ends up coming up huge with either big DM play or getting a random force, or... It's really hard to say where Ascent's kind of making faults, because I think Froyo is kind of just... I wouldn't say outplaying them, but individually they're just coming up with big plays, whereas on the side of Ascent, they're doing everything right, but they're not getting the same value out of their plays. Yeah, I wish I had some stats to look at, but I don't. Um, just looking at the scoreboard, it feels like Blaze has been a lot more valuable than his 14 points would suggest. Um, 
But, you know, you're seeing a lot of work coming out of the Froyo Tech Scouts, both of them putting in huge amounts uh, of damage as they've been, you know, taking a lot of these pushes chiefly. For sure. Um, and Blaze is having a pretty phenomenal game, I would say, as well. I mean, he came up with... Uh, his distraction plays on the flank have been really, really good. He's been tying up Laz, who I said was going to be kind of a difference maker maybe on this map. But I think Blaze has been doing a really, really good job of just shutting down Laz. Um, and again, I think Banny and Eric, like you said, have been having a particularly good game. Uh, having a peek at the stats, Banny is 12 for 4 and Eric is 11 for 2. So, Yeah, this, this is good. These are some good players. Yeah, so we're just going to be waiting for the two teams to ready up, I believe. Yeah, Jay was just reconnecting briefly there, so we should see them going live relatively soon. Um, <clears throat> in the second half here, what does Ascent need to change to try and even it up with Froyotech? I know we talked about this between the two maps, but now that the, the first half of process has gone by, what is Froyo doing better than Ascent that Ascent needs to try and step it up? Well, you know, in all three of these rounds, I've talked about a sense game plan on these midpoints and how they seem to want to just hang out and choke by this small rock where you see Froyo pushing across the health pack around the uh, towards sewer and they're able to find themselves taking some aggression into um, into the likes of Ascent and Ascent just doesn't have that that aggression coming out of them. They need to, you know, try and kill these players the way the Froyo are. So if they so can weird. do that, then I... I'm ready to see the, this match become a little more, um, you know, a little more in a sense favor. Yep, so we are going to be going live with our second half here of process. It is 3.04 uh, uh, for your tech here, so we're going to see Habib a little bit faster in bot mode getting his pack. Blaze again with the signature fast bomb, taking his own crate and dropping off. Uh, Ascent again with no positioning. Yomps and Blaze going to be looking for some aggression here. Yomps uh, just playing up top. Blaze is going to bomb and make a little bit of space. Eric's going to find the first frag on to Laz. Yite's going to trade up the frag on to Yomps, however. Yite uh, and Co. trying to take their own. Eric's going to find the pick on to Slemnish, who is kind of singled out on the left side there by his own suit. And Froyo just playing all of the high ground late into this mid. Yite is caught in alone on mid. Blaze is going to claim the frag onto that one, and it's going to be another mid for Froyo to. Yeah, that mid was a little bit slower. Is Jay actually oh, Jay's has another mercy. Jay's... Oh, not able mercy. to find Nursey. Great movement oh. out of Nursey. Um, as I was saying, you saw that mid shake down a little bit slower, but eventually you did see Banny pushing across the opposing sewers. Or you saw V pushing across the opposing sewers. Oh, and Banny. that meant that they force. had to back, the back out. And now you're going to see Uber's trade. These things are gonna, you know, I don't, I don't think anybody's gonna accomplish much from this. Uh, this is a doorway that's gonna be hard for them to try and get players in through, and we may see players try and make something happen here, but things are probably gonna slow down a little bit. Yep, Yomp's gonna find the frag onto Jay. Froyo took the pick, uh, the exchange off the back of a bot mode pick. Bot mode's gonna be up on the spawn, however, he doesn't have any stickies on. Ban and Eric are both gonna find their way into last, but they're both gonna go down. Yeah, and that's uh, pretty big, honestly. This is a good opportunity for Ascent. Oh, and Slendish is in from upper IT. He's behind the point. He's in on the nurse. Laz is going to come in and set up the pinch. Nurse is going to go down. Yomps is going to uh, get the pick on the nurse, but Yai and Laz are going to find the remaining picks onto all of the players on Freya. Yeah, we have a nine second spawn. This is a valuable opportunity for Ascent. They need to get the second point. Banny's on Engineer along with Eric on Sniper in the forward spawn. Uh, excuse me? <laughs> yeah, Banny's just building his gun. The gun's gonna go down to some spam from Jay, but it's a really interesting strat coming up from Banny. I'm not sure it's uh, very conventional. I'm not sure how effective it was. Maybe bought Eric a little bit extra space to uh, snipe from the forward spawn. Eric's gonna continue to snipe. He's gonna be watching his own IT. Um, Skis and Co. have taken mid. Uh, they still do have about a 75% uber advantage. Froyo's just holding their two. They're gonna pop in. They're gonna be bombing bot mode in. They're gonna be bombing into one. Banny is a level two in front of the forward spawn once again. Blaze is going to find the pick onto Jay. Slemish is going to trade out with that frag. Coming back in, Banny is going to get the pick on the Yite with the gun, but Laz is going to punish Habib for jumping in. You know what it I looks like it be. You know what I think the engineer's for, Nick? What is it for? I think it's to make them look at it. And especially when Eric was over there, it meant that they had to be, you know, showing themselves to that sentry so they could shoot at it, which gave him an opportunity to try and find a shot. I'm longballing here, but I think that might be what uh what they're going for. 
Yep, so we're gonna see about a 40% advantage on the side of Nursey. Uh, Yom's gonna come up in 7 seconds, so we should probably see Froyu opting to push out of last with the Yom spawn able to watch last. Uh, we're gonna see Jay and Laz playing super, super aggressive. They're gonna get the early force out of Froyu, technically gonna be bombing in. Uh, neither uh, soldier is gonna go down despite being really, really aggressive. Froyu is just gonna be content with the cap, but Ascent's gonna be jumping back in with their oop. They're gonna stop the cap bot mode, bombing in to combine that one. Habib going down super, super weak. Slime is able to clean up on the damage for that one. Jay and Blaze are gonna end up trading out. Um, but again, Ascent has a pick on the demo. They're gonna be rolling in from five. Yom's gonna be bombing in. He's gonna take down Yite and Laz and Lob. Laz is gonna trade out the frag, but Yom's trading out two for one. And Banton's gonna get the pick on the bot mode, and Froyu is just able to repush back into Ascent. I'm gonna be honest, I don't know if Ascent needed to pop the Ruber there. That was an opportunity where they could have taken it slow, they could have figured out who was doing what, because Furio was already backing out of that point when they jumped in. You saw bot mode demo bomb in with Uber, and he didn't find anything because they were already backing out. Slumish is actually gonna start a backup here down the back lines. Yomp's gonna be rolling out with the shotgun, he's gonna be able to 70 HP from the rollout. Uh, it looks like Eric and Co are gonna come back, Yomp's gonna find the frag there. Uh, backup success on successful for Slemnish and Froyo is going to be continuing to try and push into mid, taking it really slow. Laz going to jump in, going to find some damage onto Yom. Yom's down super super weak and a surf around to his own health pack. Laz is going to opt to try and stay alive, going to Froyo takes sewer, but Froyo has gotten all the positioning on the mid, and Blaze is going to pick off Light and the other team's IT. No scouts on the side of Ascent, and Laz is behind, he's going to be on top Froyo's pack. Banny's got him in a 1v1 now, however, Laz is just going to try and go back, and Froyo's just going to push forward, they're going to ignore Laz here. Yeah, they kind of can't ignore Laz, because if they're intending to pop their Uber anyway, it just means that they're down a player. You know, it means a sense down a player. They, they don't have to worry about him. Yep, and they're going to take the exchange onto two. Freyu getting a slightly better Uber. A sense just going to back up off the back of that. And Banny was able to hunt down Laz on mid. So it's going to be relatively even Uber. It's Nursey with about a 2% advantage. Nothing they can really push off of. Laz is going to find his spawn onto Laz, but Blaze is in on the far right from his perspective. And Banny's in as well. Um, Yams and Habib going to find frags. Uh, Yams and Blaze going to go down as well. But it's a f they trade out 3 for 3. Uh, in Froyo Tech, and Skis is going to be amongst the victims on the side of Ascent. So it's just going to be Nursey and Habib alive, but it's bot mode Jane and Slemish on the side of Ascent. And Nursey and Habib are sitting comfortable in their own choke. Yeah, um, I'm not, you know, between this and the, and the, uh, engineer plays out of Banny, I have to question how, how hard for your trying here. They are sending in some big bombs, they're gonna try and close this match out now. Yep, so they're gonna find the pick onto Jade. Nursing gonna be building up her uber about 90% right now, we are gonna see the Slumish Sniper and the Yite Heavy on the left side for perspective, and everybody else gonna be sitting top right. Uh, Froyo gearing up to go 3 and 4 with their push, they're gonna bomb Habib in. They're gonna pressure bot mode back into the spawn, they don't really have a ton of stickies on point. They're looking for Habib finding two frags on the bot mode in the slumish with this button. And Habib gonna find a third on the J- Gonna find a fourth on the Yite, Habib absolutely decimating Ascent on that last push with that uber chart. Did somebody call a plumber? Because Habib's here to lay some pipe. Oh no, and Slumish is gonna be sniping to the fifth mid of process here. Again, going back to your comment, I'm not sure how serious either team is taking this, but uh, Slemish looks like he is going for the sniper option here. We're going to see a fast bomb in from Laz onto Habib, not going to find anything there. Froyo, again, just taking their pushing on the crates, and Ascent is just playing super, super passive. Uh, we're going to need to see some picks out of Slemish to get some value out of this sniper. We're going to see a high bomb on Laz to try and buy his team some face, likewise from J. Yomps is going to go down, they're going to find the frag, Skis is going to be the first death on the mid, but Blaze and Yomps are going to go down for it. Both the soldiers on the side of Ascent are going to go down, but Nursi is sitting pretty with Habib and Eric in her own IT. Uh, it's just bot mode, Slumish, and Yomp. Slumish is still on the mid, it's going to get one shot off, not going to find any. Bot mode is just going to opt to try and retreat through his IT, uh, and Eric and Habib are just going to play their heals here. Yeah, I'd just like to give a shout out to Slumish finding the SMG kill onto Blaze. That is an important kill. Uh, you know, they didn't... They wanted to use the sniper. They didn't really have him pushing as far up as, as you would like. And it meant that without that, they didn't really have any of the mobility that they would want to try and aggress on the Froyo in a way that would be fruitful. Yep, so we are going to see Blaze going to go down. Yite is still on the respawn timer. Laz is pushing into IT. He's going to be behind Froyo. Eric's going to eat a nice direct from Jay, but uh, Eric's still going to get the better of that one. Uh, Slumnish and Co are just going to back up to Laz. It looks like they know Laz is behind. He's going to get pinched his own IT. Yump's going to find the frag onto that one with the help of Banny. 
and two down on the side of Ascent. Uh, Furio does have about a 25% advantage, but Skeez is at 80% and building. So he's going to have it very, very shortly. There is a gun on the side of Ascent, left side. They're going to find it really, really early. Skeez at 99%, though. He's going to get his Uber. Furio has all the positioning on the right side. They're going to be pushing in. The Uber in another point, and they're going to find bot mode. Bot mode's going to get dropped in that Uber charge. This is not good for us. No stickies on point, meaning like any point pressure is going to force players to the point. But Furio is going to end up crumbling this. Uh, they're going to find a really, really good collapse. Habib's gonna find a pick on 2J, but outside of that, Slumdish is gonna be cleaning up the frags for his team. And it looks like Yite is pressuring Habib and Co on 2, and Habib and Nursi are gonna make it out, but Ascent got the better of that fight already. Yeah, what I saw was Yite actually took his time swapping off Engineer. It was a little bit questionable to me at first, but it meant that when he did come out, um, you know, things were already starting to, to, to end, and there was a lot of damage for him to clean up. And similarly, Laz was covering a lot of ground between the two sides of the point with some clever bombing, and he was able to keep a couple different players under control. Yep, so we're going to see Freya pressuring uh, Ascent's IT really, really hard. We're actually going to see the Eric Sniper on dead. Going to be peeking into IT as well, so it looks like they're trying to bait people in. IT, Banny is going to get 2v1 by Yite and Slumnish with heals. That's a hard ask to win, even if you are Banny, so he's going to go down there, but they... You have the Eric Sniper. Laz is going to be jumping into mid with no scouts to deny him. He's going to get a lot of free rain here. Yom's going to get the pick on the Yite, but Laz is in. He's in on the Nurse. He's going to get the forward. Uh, and it looks like Yomps and Co. are going to try and go from IT to try and force, but looks like Skis is in a very comfortable position upper lobby. Yomps going to jump in. He's not going to find anything. Yeah, um, it's just like you said. Banny went down, and without those scouts, it meant that Laz could kind of get in without any, without any chance of being denied without hitting some god shots. And, you know, he got, a, he got a good force out, and being stuck in IT meant that they couldn't really, uh, they didn't really have any options. They could try and make a couple plays to get the similar force out of Skis, but Skis was well hidden at that point, and it just meant that they had to give up that uh, that ground. Yep, so we're going to see Ascent popping their Uber into mid. They're going from Sewer. Habib's going to get caught in the choke point by bot mode. Blaze is going to go down, but Eric's going to find the full charge body shot onto bot mode in return. So no demos on either team, but... Froyo is down a soldier. They did get the force out of skis. Uh, Nursi has about a 35% advantage. Um, but I think teams are going to still man out. I see our headshot ring out on the Slamnish, who is fully buffed. He's going to go down super, super weak. Yomps going to find the pick out of that one, and Jay's going to try and bomb back in. Eric going to get the railgun frag out of that. Laz is going to clean up Yomps, but Froyo looks like they have the uh, with the player add and uh, going to be pushing into mid. Blaze is going to bomb in. Yite's going to pick that one. They're going to even out the numbers here, but Froyo has all the positioning on mid, and they're about to be up on the roof. Oh, and Eric gonna find another pick on the Yite as well. Eric going big on the sniper. Yeah, I think that was an opportunity for them to try and play a little bit of IT because uh, having that uh, for Ascent to play IC, IT because having that sniper from Eric means that they can't, uh, you know, scout these areas out as easily as we saw Broyotex similarly do uh, in a previous round. You know, I think they could have kind of gone quickly IT and they, they could have jammed a couple people through a doorway, and I think that might have been an opportunity for them. But you saw some important picks come out onto the Ascent Scouts, and then Froyo was able to worm their way back into this midpoint. Oh, Slemnish on the counter sniper is waiting for you to finish the comment. Oh, Slemnish finds the pick on the Blaze, gonna find a headshot onto Eric, trading out uh, damage there. Uh, they're gonna see a little bit of a skirmish in the IT for Ascent, uh, but both teams are just gonna rotate away to get healed up. Slemnish is gonna be looking for another peek from Choke here while Blaze is still dead. Yeah, and you know, as is, we have both Uber, uh, even Ubers, and we have snipers, so we may see this game slow down a lot, or we may see someone try to make a, a bit of a big dick play and try and go for something fancy. Uh, it's going to come down to, to what they want to do, but we are on round four here, so I think it'd be more likely to see aggression out of Froyo Tech. Oh, as and Blaze is going to bomb in, going to get a force out of Skis. I think he actually got a bunch of damage on the bot mode. I think he just landed on bot mode's head and hit two nice directs, and with the looming threat of a third rocket and being on top of bot mode's head, I think Skis opted to save his demo rather than drop him. Um, so we are going to see a full Uber ad on the side of Froyo Tech. They, I think they're waiting for their Blaze spawn, just because they do already have the Eric Sniper, and it would make it really easy for Laz and Yite to abuse their flank. Um, they're going to be building in one on the side of Ascent while Furyu is getting their spawns and they're getting buffed up to put. And uh, Ascent is actually building really well. We could see them having Uber pretty soon if, they, uh, if they're if they able to keep Furyu from pushing in within the next you know five seconds or so. 
Yeah, uh, Ski's already at 85%. Looks like Freya's still trying to go from the sewer side of things. They are trying to slow push it. Uh, Eric's gonna need a full charge body shot, and Banny's needing a bunch of spam, and Nursey's not quite committed. They're gonna get the pick onto uh, Jay, but they're gonna take an exchange on the point. Ski's has about a 30% better Uber. Bot mode and co are gonna be bombing into the choke point, trying to find anything, and Nursey's gonna go down. Laz is able to find that one. Yeah, he's gonna find the pick on the Banny, the domination frag as well. Uh, so we're going to see two down on the side of Froyo being a scout and medic, but only Jay down on the side of Ascent who just spawned up. So he should just be Ascent trying to push into mid shortly. Yeah, uh, I didn't actually see how Nursty went down, but but as the Ubers faded, being able to, to take out Banny was a pretty big boon for Ascent as it let them get in through this choke as everybody else was on the back foot trying to get out of this point. And, you know, if they keep trying to take this high ground, if they keep trying to spam out these doors, then we can ascend. We can see Ascent try and keep pushing forward here. Yep, and we still have both the soldiers on Furio Bombman to try and get either a play onto Skis, and I think both of them saw Skis a super far back and just tried to trade with Slamnish, but neither was successful. So we're going to see no soldiers on the side of Furio Tech. It looks like Ascent's going to push it from Al-Qaeda from their perspective. We still see the ongoing uh, sniper duel of Eric versus uh, Slamnish. And we're going to see Jay go down, um, and Laz is going to go down to Blaze as well. So no soldiers on the side of Ascent. Uh, a bit of a token turn here. We're going to hear a headshot ring out from Eric, I believe, on the bot mode that was. And we're going to see Furio trying to pressure into mid. Yomps is going to go down. Blaze is going to go down. Uh, Habib's going to find the frag onto Slemnish, but yeah, he's going to trade out the frag onto Eric. And they're seeing at 71% alone in their lobby. Banny's in on mid trying to find the frag onto bot mode. Bot mode down to just 12 HP, but Jay's going to come in and save his demo, man. It's just Nursey alive on the side of Freya. Yomps is going to get their spawn, but... Uh, for the most part, we're just going to okay. see Nursey building on last, and the Sen's going to be happy to take Freya a second. There was actually a pretty funny moment there where Skis was trying to walk through Choke while Habib was trying to walk out Sewer, and they kind of passed straight by each other. I just want to highlight that, because I don't know if we caught it. It felt like a scene at a Scooby-Doo or something. So we're going to see Furio pushing in here. Yom's going to be bombing in from the rollout area, meeting up with Nursey. We're going to get the sticky debt out of bot mode. Laz is pretty weak. We're going to see him. We're going to see Blaze bombing into the choke from his perspective. Just going to be rotating back to IT. Furio was able to get into two without having to use. Skis is at 90%, but Furio is still pushing into mid. Ban's going to be at the first dead. Jay's going to find that one. And it looks like Ascent's pressuring Blaze and IT really hard. He's going to go down as well, and Eric's going to die as well. So, three down on the side of Froyo, and Skis has yet to use. Laz is behind. He's going to bomb back to his team, playing with his combo. And bombing back in. Habib's going to get caught out. It's going to be four down for the side of Froyo, and Skis still has yet to use skills. This is a pretty big opportunity for them. I think if they get really aggressive with it, they can go in right now, which it seems like they're going to do. You're going to see uh, Slemnish trying to get on this point. You're going to see... Bot mode trying to kill these players. I think you should just try and focus on getting sticks on the point and having players stand on it. However, you're going to see Eric go down. You're going to see Blaze trying to fend. Bot mode will go down along with the item. You might see uh, Ascent potentially beef this. No, Blaze will go down, and that's going to be the first round for Ascent. Yeah, Ascent finally getting themselves on the board. It only took them to uh, the very odds and ends. They were down 9 out of 10 rounds that they could beat down. There is 13 minutes left. There is time for Ascent to come back into this. It is looking a little bit grim for them, but they are showing some signs of lately into this game. And Slamish is going to be sniping to mid again. All right, I like it. I want to see what uh, yep. Laz is up to on this mid. Yeah, he bombed in early to try and contest Blaze. Slamish is going to find the headshot onto Yomp. Uh -huh. We're going to see Furio with the counter aggression. We're going to see a really, really high bomb on the Laz. Going to get the pick on the Bandy. Three down on the side of Furio. Yeah, he's going to find the pick on the Blaze, but Habib's going to find Ski. Going down, Nursey's the only one left alive on Furio, committed on mid still, gonna go down. Ascent's gonna win out another mid. That's good, Ascent's playing the Maverick hole, they're shaking it up. Uh, you know, that, that pick on the Yipes was, uh, Yomps was huge, Slumnish is able to try and pressure the team in some different ways. And you did see a little bit more aggression out of the Ascent soldiers, it's able to try and keep them from uh, dealing with these things, is that exactly the way that they would like to. Yep, so we're going to see Freyo coming out, trying to get some space on their own too. They're going to chase uh, Jay out. Sun's going to be content with taking mid. Um, we saw this a little bit yesterday at a Chaos Control where you see the sniper mids and they're just playing super, super passive and eating up the aggression from the other team. And it seems like it's working for Ascent. I believe they won the last two mids that they run it to. Um, and so I think on the first mid, it was kind of like the scenario where they lost mid initially, but because they lost mid and they had their spawns, they were able to find some success later in the DM fight. And because they had their spawns first, they were able to re-push into mid instantly before Freyo could cap. 
So they basically won mid by losing mid, but you know, it's still a mid win at the end of the day. What I'd like to see out of Ascent here is uh, well, one of the old, uh, I think it was Epsilon used to do, they would have Tech go on Sniper and he would sit up on on uh, whichever whichever box lets you see through the choke, it's going to be red box here. And he would sit there and if anybody tried to push through, he could see him. But also if anybody was standing on these stairs way in the back, he could see them too. What Slumnish is uh, looking at right now actually. He does get the pick on the Habib, which is going to be pretty big. However, things aren't going so well on the flank as... Both soldiers, Yite and Botload, have gone down, and Froyotech's gonna find themselves in control of mid once again. Yep, and Nurse's on the chase. He's gonna hit a couple arrows. Nurse's gonna find the chase frag on the skis all by herself. Skis with that 20 second respawn timer. Nurse is gonna claim herself a very large Uber head off the uh, back of that pick, and Froyo is spawn camping Ascent in the forward spawns here. Uh, Jay is going to make his way out along with Laz. It looks like Laz is going to hit a nice direct on the Yom. So I'm just going to trade out the frag. And Yite's going to get the pick onto Banny. Eric's going to go down. Blaze is going to find the pick onto Jay and Yite. And Slumnish is going to come in and get the frag onto Blaze. It's just Nurse and Habib alive, but it is just Slumnish, Bontman, and Skis on the side of Ascent. And Furry is about to get a lot of their spawns, and their spawns do come into mid quicker. So if Habib's able to delay enough uh, Bontman and Slumnish, then Furry can actually make a fight out of this. And we're going to see exactly that. The Furry spawners are coming in right now. Doesn't look like they're getting anything. Yomps is going to be bombing in, trying to find some space for his team. Laz is going to be coming in as well, but looks like Furry is getting the better of the positioning, and they're playing their heels a little bit better. Slumnish is going to get caught in. Yep, Blaze is going to find the frag there um, and it looks like ascent wasn't able to get mid off the back of that yeah it's just like you said the spawns were coming in faster you saw ascent make a valuable attempt to try and uh step forward and force froyo out but they knew they had people coming they knew that they were going to be able to win this fight once they got there and now they're going to be trying to push in the last with a 40 percent advantage Yep, and we saw the sack attempt out of Laz. He's not going to find anything. Blaze is going to be getting in from one from his perspective, and Furry's going to Uber in from Rollup. They're not really finding anything with this Uber. They're going to find some positioning late into the fight on the right side here. They're going to start getting some early point pressure, and they're going to find the frag. It's going to be 5 1 for Furry Attack. Very dominant showing in this upper bracket final. Yes, very dominant. Ascent got one round across two maps. Uh, it's a little bit unfortunate to see. I was hoping to see a little bit of closer games, considering I think this is uh, very likely going to be a Grand Finals matchup. I'm hoping that Ascent may be just having an off day, um, because Froyo definitely showed they were beatable last season with uh, Froyo Black beating them out. And even this season, uh, Ascent themselves showed that they had a lot of life against Froyo, taking a half against them on Goalie Wash early in the season, albeit with a slightly different roster. But for the most part, the roster has stayed the same. So I'm hoping that in a, a later matchup that they'll find a little more success against Furio. Yeah, I agree. Um, I don't want to keep beating a dead horse. I think that Ascent was doing some some good changes in the way that they applied their aggression, but I think that you know there were some times when they could have decided that they, they kind of needed to keep it going the whole time unless they had some super obvious advantage, like 80% Uber at or something like that. Yeah, for sure. Again, I think it came down to just like the individual plays on Froyo were just, uh, they were coming up big time and time again. I, I, we keep coming back to it, but I think Blaze was kind of the difference maker. I think he shut down Laz uh, in quite a few scenarios, and then he was also able to find plays on top of shutting down Laz. Um, looking at the stats, the big thing that's a couple standouts for me is Nursey had five deaths and three frags. Um, Yomps had 29 kills top in the server. Um, and Beyond that, nothing is particularly standout. It looks like Yite had a pretty decent game still. He went 28 for 22. So even though his team lost, he still had a pretty decent game. Uh, but outside of that, nothing is particularly standout for me. All right. Well, um, I'm not sure if there's a whole lot else to say. The, the server's closing out. Uh, the upper bracket finals are closing out. What are we going to be looking at for our next matches, Nick? Uh, so we're going to see Ascent is knocked down to the lower bracket. Furyu has booked their seat in the Grand Finals. So we have to wait for the lower bracket round one, which I believe is being played Monday. That's going to be Chaos Control versus Meat Market. And the winner of that game will meet Ascent in the lower bracket finals. And I believe that is scheduled for... Also, I think the default time is Monday, but they have until the 4th to play it. So we'll see... We'll have to wait for Meat Market to play Chaos Control to see who Ascent's next opponent is, and then we'll have to see the 
Ascent rematch versus either Chaos Control or Meat Market uh, to see who plays Froyo in the finals. Um, I don't want to say this was too unexpected. I think the the bracket, I mean, so far we have yet to see the lower seed upset the higher seed. Uh, and I think that, I think a lot of people are a little disappointed to see the uh, Ascent wasn't able to get a few more rounds. Again, I think they're kind of having an off day. I feel like in general, from what I've seen in scrims, they were able to get more. Um, and I'm hoping that, in general, that we'll see a little bit more out of them in the future. I think you put it very well. So yeah, I don't think I have too much else to add. I don't know if you have any shoutouts you want to make, Bill Dozer, but I think that's all I got. Oh my gosh, I want to give a shout out to Console for doing camera work for us. Did a good job. Yeah, shout out to Console and all the other uh, producers that spend their time this is a thankless job so i try to give them whatever uh thanks i can so uh so yeah shout out to console shout out to yeah. the dunk masters and i am yeah shout out to my dad zachary uh shout outs to simple flips shout outs to simple flips all right well i think that's all we got so that has been the uh, upper bracket finals for ESE Invite Season 30. I've been Frick Minick, joined by Bill Dozer on the cast. And uh, that's all we got. Have a good evening, folks. Have a good night, y'all.